While making my colorful card with a Stampin' Up! Bloom Bash stamp set, I came up with a solution for watercolor warped cardstock. It is so easy, you're going to love it. Come and watch! I'm going to use the 2013-2015 ink colors to give a watercolor wash to my Whisper White cardstock and then stamp with the Balloon Bash stamp set. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is, I have pistachio pudding, we're going to press that ink pad down into the lid and get some color. And so then I have my aqua painter and um, a paper towel napkin and we're going to squeeze to get that water going. Come over here and pick up some color and then we're just going to scribble back and forth. I don't want to go edge to edge, I want that scribbled look. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles and for 14 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So next we have the Coastal Cabana. Press, get that color. Oh, fantastic. I've already cleaned this. Come over here and pick up some more. And you can see already how my cardstock is warping from the color. But I've got a solution you're going to love and say, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so clean this off. The next color we're going to use is the baked brown sugar. So while I'm doing this, let me talk to you about the 2013 2015 in colors. They're going to be retiring with the catalog, with the 2014-2015 Stampin' Up! catalog. And on April 21st, Stampin' Up! will release the retiring stamp sets and accessories list. Well, we know they're retiring, so what happens is, and this is what happened last year, the ink refill started selling out even before the list was released. Chris Cantaloupe. And so what I'm recommending and have been to my customers since last year is you get over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and get your ink refills if you've got the pads. If you don't have the pads, well, this has been the most popular set ever, and you can see why these colors are just gorgeous. And so the first thing they'll sell out will be the ink, uh, the ink pad refills then the cardstock, and all that makes sense for all the people that have the colors and love them. They're going to want to keep using them, so they're going to want to be able to re-ink their pads and have cardstock to color on. And so, just heed my warning. And like I said, my customers have been, because I've been very pleased to see that the ink refills have been showing up in cardstock on their orders. Okay, so now we have that beautiful color wash, and again, it's warped. But before I show you the solution, we're going to go ahead and stamp on it first. And I've got the beautiful color, and I want the stamp to stand out against it. So I'm going to use Bermuda Bay from the Brights Collection. And then this stamp. It just cracks me up. It says, it reads, I made this just for you because it's your birthday. You're welcome. <laughs> I hear it with attitude in my head. And so when I have a big stamp like this, or a bigger one, I like to have it rubber side up. And so I can make sure I get really good coverage. Ink it like this, just so I know. Okay, and then I'm going to place it right over this. And I love that the banner is going to hit the Coastal Cabana, the Bermuda Bay. The Coastal Cabana will be behind it. And let's press everywhere. I want really good coverage to stand out against that watercolor wash. Okay, isn't it always a thrill when you pull it away? Oh, just beautiful. Okay, but like I said, you can see that warp. So I kept thinking about it. Okay, the water makes the, the cardstock expand. What makes things contract? And then it hit me. Preparation H. You know what this is used for, what that shrinks. <laughs> and then, you know, also models, they use it for the bags under their eyes to pull that, you know, to shrink those back up. So why not cardstock? So um, first I want you to have a rubber glove. I want us to shrink the cardstock, but not the skin in your finger. So a little rubber glove. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just spread this all over the back. All right. We don't want to smear. The, the classic pads are not a permanent ink, and if we added moisture over that, we could you know, smear that ink, and we certainly don't want to do that. So you, you want to go edge to edge. 
we want to shrink this evenly so it's going to lay nice and flat when I go to head to uh, go ahead and layer it onto my card. So after you get that done, just set it aside for a couple minutes to dry. I can't wait to show you my finished card.